very soon now, at the end of June, there's, there will be this meeting uh, in Rio, following up on one 20 years ago. Uh, and the ground's already been prepared for, for, I think, for the kind of message that we are trying to deliver, the need for global water scenarios. I'm very optimistic that the world will be able to sustain as many as 9 billion people, which is probably the, the maximum the world will have because after that all the forecasts say it will start to decline. So that's the maximum, that's what we need to worry about. I believe that we already have identified uh, more than enough ways to have uh, a planet that will support them and at the same time we'll be able to do it so that we manage to do it with our scarce water resources and at the same time protecting the environment. I think that there are, there, there are planetary boundaries um, some of them have already been exceeded. Uh, for, for example, the planetary boundary for the, for the management of nitrogen, because in order to produce our food in the last few decades, we've been f manufacturing more and more nitrogen. It's not natural in the environment. It's there now, and it more is there now than the environment is used to having. So we have exceeded that. We, quite sure I also have exceeded the, the level of CO2 in the atmosphere. Uh, we know that we've, that we've already passed it. We now know we can't even achieve this objective of two degrees of warming. The Anthropocene, the Anthropocene is, is a new world. And we, it's true, we live in a new world. It's a world that, in which humans are having are, are determining what nature will be. In the past, in the previous uh, eras of the development of the planet, humans were, were responding to threats from nature. We now are, are making the natural world around us by our very actions. And this is a new world. And it's developing at, at a an accelerating rate. Uh, young people today are learning about this and they, they are seeing that they have the tools to do things differently and to make this into a planet that's sustainable and livable. That's why I'm optimistic, because we're going to be able to change it. We have to understand that the kind of impact that we're having on our planet and we have to change our behavior towards each other because if we want to have equitable solutions, we're going to have to recognize that this today's situation is far from equitable and that over the last couple of decades, it's become even worse with more and more people living in poverty and fewer and fewer people living but becoming more and more rich. That's just not sustainable. The planet won't last that way. So we have to change our behavior towards ourselves and towards the planet.